Hello everyone and welcome to the Royal Hive. In this series, we discuss the births of historical royal figures from around the world and throughout the ages. Today, we are celebrating seven historical royal births. Our first celebrant being Abu al Hajjaj Yusuf ibn Ismail of Granada, who was born in 1318 as the third son to parents Ismail I and Bahar. He was the seventh Nazarid ruler of the Emirate of Granada, ascending the throne at the age of 15. Although he suffered many territorial losses, his reign saw the flourishing of literature, architecture, medicine, and the law. He died on the 19th of October 1354 at the age of 36. Our second celebrant for today is John II of Aragon, who was born in 1398 to parents King Ferdinand I of Aragon and Eleanor of Albuquerque. He was King of Navarre through his marriage to Blanche I, having a son with her, Charles, Prince of Vienna. John was also father to Ferdinand II of Aragon, who married Isabella I of Castile. Ferdinand and Isabella were called the Catholic monarchs and united Aragon and Castile to create the Kingdom of Spain. It was alleged that John poisoned his son Charles, whom he apparently hated. Our third celebrant for today is Maria of Aragon, who was born in 1482 to parents Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon, the Catholic monarchs. She married Manuel I of Portugal, bearing him ten children, the eldest son being John III of Portugal. Maria did not involve herself in politics, but did take a keen interest in religious matters, co-founding the Geronimo's Monastery in Lisbon. She died at the age of 36 on the 7th of March, 1517. Our fourth celebrant for today is Emperor Go Mizonu of Japan, who was born in 1596 as the third son to parents Go Yose and consort Konu Sakiko. He was the first emperor to reign entirely during the Edo period, the period being characterized by economic growth, strict social order, isolationist foreign policies, a stable population, perpetual peace, and popular enjoyment of arts and culture. He died on the 11th of September 1680 at the age of 84. Our fourth celebrant for today is Prince Bernard of Lieb Bisterfeld, who was born in 1911 to parents Prince Bernard of Lieb and Baroness Armgard von Krem. He was born in the sovereign principality of Lieb. The marriage of his parents were considered to be morganatic as they did not conform to the marriage laws of the House of Lieb. He was raised to the princely rank with the Star of Serene Highness in 1916 by his uncle Leopold IV, Lip's last sovereign prince. On the 7th of January 1937, Bernard married Juliana of the Netherlands, becoming prince consort on her accession on the 6th of September 1948. Bernard was the father of six children, four of whom with his wife Juliana. His eldest daughter, with Juliana, became Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. Our sixth celebrant for today is Sheikh Jabir al Ahmed al Sabah, Emir of Kuwait, who was born in 1926 as the third son to parents Ahmed al Jabir al Sabah and Bibi Salim Mubarak al Sabah. He was appointed as Minister of Finance in 1962, becoming Chairman of the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development from 1962 to 1964. His reign as Emir lasted from the 30th of November 1965 to the 8th of February 1978. He died on the 15th of January 2006 at the age of 79. Our final celebrant for today is King Kigeli V of Rwanda, who was born in 1936 to parents Yui V and Queen Mukashema. He was elected as King of Rwanda on the 28th of July 1959 after the unexpected death of his half-brother, King Mutara III. King Kigeli abdicated after a 1961 referendum chose to abolish the monarchy, the former king criticizing the results as being rigged. He died on the 16th of October 2016 at the age of 80. Thank you everyone for celebrating the births with him today.
if you like this video and would like to see more please like and subscribe